Bobby Thompson. I'm at the arena. And we are the Brew, the Brew Crew. Crew. Alright guys, so it's that time of the year, full. Um, <clears throat> episode 14. Uh, and of course, it's full, so what do you have to do? A pumpkin beer. Haven't done one in a while. But I think the last pumpkin beer we did was what? Uh, Pumpo Drumkin, probably? It was last year. And yeah, last year, yeah. Spring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Dogfish, it's a pretty known pretty known beer company. Uh, they obviously, they got the, what is it, like 90 minutes, 60 minute, and 120 minute, you know, very hoppy, you know, for the hoppy stuff. So, uh, you know, Oops. I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking forward. I think uh, I've had a few Dogfish beers before. Uh, I enjoy them. So, um, yeah, this is called Pumpkin L, as you see here. Uh, as usual, we'll start with what we see on top. Um... I got a little skeleton, right? A little Halloween theme. Yeah, it looks like kind of looks like a Mexican. Um, what do they the, call it Day of the Dead. Like the Day of the Dead kind of thing there, yeah. Pretty pretty cool looking. <clears throat> pretty cool artwork. Yeah. You see, we got uh, looks like a kind of like a skeleton with um like you said Day of the Dead. It's kind of got like a kind of like a Mexican uh, kind of poncho kind of thing on there. You see that? Yeah. You can't over there. It's a little pumpkins. See, yeah. <laughs> Holding the pumpkins on the side. Little skeleton skulls on the ground over there. Little Jack Lantern in the background. Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, this is a good, it's a very nice design. So right off the bat, yeah, a little, uh, what is that? A little wheat over there, see that? Got a little wheat there on the side? It must be. It must be a little pops, maybe. I don't know, we're talking about the, that right there. Yeah, I see it sticking up. Looks like, kind of like a banana kind of thing over there. Yeah, all right, well. We go so, that. what do you, <coughs> before we go any, any further, what do you, uh, what's your take on pumpkin there? Pumpkin ales. Well, pumpkin ales? Overall. I've, I've had some good pumpkin ales before. Um, that being said, there's also been some red bad pumpkin ales that we've had. And oh, yes. Like uh, like Shipyard. Terrible. Shipyard, yeah. Pumpkin Drunken. Pumpkin Drunken wasn't that good. Uh, I guess it's very easy to screw up a, a pumpkin ale. Kind of yeah. like it is with a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> I guess some things are kind of tough to do. But I mean, I definitely tasted some some good uh, pumpkin ales. Yeah, yeah. Definitely uh, I can't really think of the names off the top of my head, but... Um, I definitely have tasted some good pumpkin ale, so hopefully uh, Dogfish may have a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, this is a uh, seasonal, so this is something you can only get, uh, I'm guessing, during the fall. It's it, uh, it's done in November. You can't get it after November. After the okay. It's September, October, and November. It's only three months, and this is the 2016 batch. Okay. Sorry, you're to the batch. Okay. Again, okay, the side it says, um, pumpkin ale is a full-bodied brown brood with real pumpkin, <laughs> Brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Nutmeg. Oh, so, it's made with, so it's made with nutmeg. Sounds like you're making a cake or something. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds like a Christmas time. A little nutmeg. Uh, <laughs> and the eggnog. Yeah, and eggnog, yeah. The little eggnog, spice yeah. rum. <laughs> yeah. You like the uh, nutmeg flavor? I like nutmeg, yeah. Yeah. Nutmeg's good. Yeah, I never really had it in a beer, as far as I know. I uh, find out how that tastes. It's kind of kind of interesting. Kind of... Again, this is Dogfish Brewery. Did you read it from? You read it from this side. Yeah, from that yeah. side. Yeah, we got uh, on here. It says uh, the oops, the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know what the what they kind of specify on here. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. We got um, I guess it's seven percent alcohol. So it's kind of a as far as beer goes, it's a pretty heavy hitter. Yeah, yeah, seven percent alcohol with twenty eight IBU. So the hoppiness is not really there. It's on average, a little bit of average. Okay, interesting. And at the top, it's their standard. Uh, it's the shark. Wrong way. Oh, oh, that's the logo right there. Just got dim. Yeah, so it's just in a bottle. Let's let's pop this baby open. Yeah, pop, pop. All right, Bobby. Is it Yingling kind of type over there? Oh no, it's the. What the hell that is? It's the bald eagle. All right, nice little fizz. Pop it open. Little, little face. Right, so uh, before we dive in, expectations. Expectations. Pumpkin. A little pumpkin, a little spicy. A little pumpkin. A little, maybe some some uh, white girl in there. Pumpkin spice. A little, yeah, possible yeah. basic. But yeah. Yeah. Some. Beep. Hope for some uh, basic white girl beer. Maybe this is for you, basic white girls out there. All right. Or let's, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Let's give it a nice pour. That's the, ooh. It looks like a pumpkin. It's got a nice golden kind of. Wow. Not even golden. It's, look at that. Huh. That's a nice color. 
you can see right there. A thin head. Yeah, thin head right off the bat. Thin head. Beautiful, beautiful body. Look, wow, at the, yeah. look at the body on this one. Nice. It looks like a nice little champagne. Yeah. With the fizz. I toast to that. Yeah. I'm not drinking yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. As you can see, I, I really, this is a really nice, a really nice head. And a, a nice, uh, you just, uh, it's like, a, like a caramel kind of color. Yeah. Like a darkish caramel color. That's, I, I feel like the color like, really suits the pumpkin and yeah. the fact that it's a pumpkin it's beer. Got, it's got an orangey tint to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very nice. Very, very nice festive, guy. very oh, yeah. September, October, November ish. Yeah, see, this is you can see one of these things in like a commercial. Yeah, know, like a, it looks like a commercial, like you know, people holding like a nice colored beer like that. Yep. Yeah. In the pumpkin patch. Yeah. Sitting at a nice farm, picking pumpkins, drinking some uh, pumpkin ale. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, it's this, a, this is great. One more thing. This is not pumpkin ale. This is pumpkin ale. <coughs> is that enough? For you? There's a story behind that. Yeah, see, see, it's pumpkin. Down south, they do this thing called pumpkin chunking, where they launch pumpkins uh, annually over the autumn and fall, and uh, they just cast them with catapults and have competitions all over down the south. Unfortunately, we don't have that in New England, as far as I know. So yeah, no, I don't. That, uh, I'm sure doing like Boston. They have a lot of weird things up there in Boston. So, uh, <laughs> Wait, what do you call Boston? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's get our smells in. Yeah, all right. I mean, right when I opened the bottle, it smelled like pumpkin. Oh, yeah. It's a, you know. It's a strong pumpkin uh, scent, for sure. It smells like the guts uh, of a pumpkin. Yeah. The inside. Yeah. When, yeah. You, when you cut open a pumpkin. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But, I mean, this is... Uh, I can definitely smell the nutmeg. You can eat? In there, yeah. You can pick up on that? Yeah, I can pick that out there. Yeah, um, that's that's interesting. Kinda, it's a pumpkin. I mean, it, it smells like a chewed smell. It smells like a nice, uh, nice little pumpkin lager. Whatever you want to call it, it's a, it's a it's a good start. So, um, judging by the uh, the smell, does your opinion change? I think this is gonna be good. Maybe we've had bad experiences in the past with uh, pumpkin beers. This looks pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, smell? no, it's, it's it smells great. I was just reading up on the uh, the whole reason why it's pumpkin because I was like, you know, down south it's brewed and bottled in Delaware. Wow. Dogfish up down south it makes sense. They do have that down in Delaware. I know that. Hey, but, uh, really. Did not know if there was any breweries and they big breweries in Delaware. Yeah, I mean, dog, maybe they have a branch down there. I'm not sure, but they have it. So yeah, so let's get into the taste here. Yeah, All this right. is uh, cheers again. Wait, pumpkin. cheers for the phone. All right, <laughs> back in the podcast. Probably. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a podcast uh, recording with the phone, and then we're also gonna be doing video, so doing two and two together. It's it's uh it's heavy. It's heavy. Um, it kind of tastes how it smells. Kind of you could you could definitely get the um, the whole pumpkin kind of spice in there. You can definitely taste that. Yeah, I'm tasting like a lot of a lot of malt. Mm -hmm. Like on the roasted side. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's definitely got a roasted taste to it. Um, it's not heavy. I think it's kind of I think it's kind of smooth. As far as it, how it goes down, I, yeah, I, I feel like it's heavy when it going down. Yeah. It's um, I don't know. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's definitely uh, it's a little bit heavier than than others that we've tried. Um, hmm. you know, <coughs> huh, I'm trying to put my finger on exactly. I mean, it, to me, it's got a nice uh, it's got a very nice pumpkin flavor. Um, you can definitely taste the pumpkin in it. Which I think is a plus. Yeah. Uh, some of the other pumpkin beers we tried, you don't really get that that real pumpkin flavor in it. You can definitely uh, taste the pumpkin in this. Um, huh. I mean, it's 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 enjoyable. Have the brown sugar and the nutmeg and all that. Um, good stuff. I mean, well, it, you know, it tastes good to me, but the only thing that's kind of weird is it's got a little bit of like a of like a bitter kick that I wasn't really expecting. Yeah. Along with the uh, like the pumpkin flavor. It's got like a sharp little kind of taste to it. It's sharp. That's that's a it good. It's kind of weird. That's a great word for it. It's it's sharp, and it's the the mouth feel after uh, after drinking it and then taking a little break. It's it's dry. You have a, yeah. a dry mouth. Yeah, it's a dry. It's very bitter. It's like a bitter dry kind of kind of feeling. It kind of leaves in your mouth, which is kind of strange. Was um, like it when you first put it in your mouth, you can really taste all the flavors, and it kind of like um, met, like kind of like mixes into that kind of. Bittery kind of aftertaste. 
Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I, I gotta say one thing. I think this is definitely better than a shipyard or. Oh yeah, yeah, or without a, a doubt. Drink. This is this is one of the the better pumpkin beers in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, again, this is not something I know. Uh, how many things with any kind of pumpkin beer? It's not really something that you're gonna be drinking in mass. You know, in mass, kind of a one kind of bottle kind of thing. But I mean, for, like for that, I mean, it's an enjoyable brew. I would think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it, not, it is. It's it's not fantastic. I mean, I've, I've definitely had better. Yeah. Um, but it's, a, it's not terrible. No, no, it's not. And also, it, dogfish is uh, typically a. It's more of a. It's almost a like domestic. It's you can find it everywhere. Dogfish. You yep. can if you're not look if you're not finding pumpkin ale, you're finding a sixty minute, ninety minute, one hundred twenty minute right. somewhere. It's becoming a mass craft brewery, which is, yeah. sounds kind of weird. A macro. Right, exact. Right, yeah, so it's almost like you'd think it. Uh, I'm sure some people would, would kind of be surprised that it's actually a craft beer and not like a domestic gift. Yeah. That's for sure, yeah, because it is pretty widespread <laughs> now. It's um, ever you can find it everywhere. Right, which is, uh, I'm sure our True Roads is going to be eventually. You know, in the next probably 10 years, probably going to be so prevalent that you... They just open another brewery, they're in the process of opening another one. Oh, True Roads? Yeah. Yep. It's definitely... Crazy. Um, well, I gotta say, the one that... This bitterness is kind of a turn off, though, just to the beer experience. Yeah, I mean, when it, when it leaves in your mouth, it's like, wow, you know, it's dry, it's bitter, and it's like, I'm gonna take another sip. Is it gonna be dry again? And it's just repetition. It kind of overpowers the uh, the pumpkin taste a little bit. Yeah, for sure. The after feel is just it's it's a weird after feel. It it's is. it's a strange uh, after feel for a pumpkin. It, it is. Just, like I said, really really dry, kind of like a roasted like. I don't know. Not something you expect. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, food for as food pairing, said spicy foods. Spicy foods like chili, jambalaya would be good with this kind of pumpkin beer. Uh, Desserts yeah. would be flan. For me, yeah, uh, I don't think I'd, I'd want to eat anything with this. I don't know. I don't some, some people are saying that online. Yeah, I don't. Nothing. I don't know. I don't know if I would eat any food with this. You, you don't know, think like, it'd be good with any? Uh, no, I think I think that that bitter taste kind of would kind of lose. Maybe uh, you know, I could see like like maybe some chocolate maybe, with this, I could possibly see. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about like a like a meal, <laughs> like, like having that. That's, having, like, that's a chicken with this. That's the thing. It, it leaves you with a bitter, dry mouth feel. Why would you want something spicy that even yeah is I don't, even more bitter and dry and <laughs> I don't know if I would agree with that spicy. Uh, yeah, it's that's that's a weird mix. Flan yeah, no. maybe. Is the consistency is kind of you know wet and some kind uh, of chocolate I'd say would would be best of this chocolate yeah probably milk chocolate mm -hmm. that dark chocolate it's bitter you know, that's it <laughs> cooking it's chocolate good. it's good. yeah it's kind of it's kind of got a dark chocolate t uh, t taste to it when you really think about it you say the nutmeg and kind of brown yeah. sugar again, you know. yeah I mean you know again it's nothing um it's not, it's not terrible but yeah um I feel like it. The, there are definitely are better pumpkin beers out there than this. Ah, for sure. Mm. For sure. And it might be in your own backyard. Could be, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Your local pop. Your pop, local your pumpkin, pumpkin patch. patch. <laughs> There's a little uh, pumpkin in there, yeah. yeah. Made with pumpkin meat, so that's a, another it's pumpkin meat. interesting uh, thing. I like the, that term, pumpkin yeah, meat. pumpkin meat, yeah. Just go in there, grab the guts, and yeah, just... shove it into a beer bottle. <laughs> yeah. But, so, uh, um, let's go into ratings. Yeah. Hit him first on this one. Yeah, hit him. Um, Give your explanation and hit him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a little smack. The, I usually uh, don't dogfish. drink pumpkin beers, but this is... <laughs> oh, no, you, you don't usually... We don't usually drink pumpkin beers. I do enjoy beers. a good pumpkin beer, though. You know, I, I, it's good to try. Mm -hmm. I've had some good ones. I don't really remember the names at the top of my head, unfortunately. But um, after this, I, I do like the fact that you do taste the pumpkin... It's got a pumpkin taste. You can definitely taste the kind of nutmeggy, spicy kind of thing to it. Um, you know that brings it up, but what kind of shoots it down a little bit for me? Why it's not as good as it, it could be is because of that that bittery um, aftertaste to it. That kind of brings it down. But I'm you know I'm gonna give it a six and a half. It's a solid. So maybe like a six point seven five. I'll give it. It's a solid. It's a solid beer. You know, if you like trying pumpkin beers, you probably it's just something worth trying. But it could be better. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely taste wise, it could be. It could. Yeah, it could, it could be. Better. Could, <laughs> it could but, be. Like, but, but like the the instant impression, like when you first <clears> taste <throat> it, it, you do get that that, that pumpkin flavor and that oh, spice yeah. flavor. Yeah. So it's it's fucking October in my mouth. Mm-hmm. You know, it gives you that. It definitely is a you know a good full you know nice full taste to it. Yeah. Just that that um that kind of bitterness is kind of a little bit of an attractive. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, sorry, six point seven five. It's a good. It's good for. Um, I I do agree with you with the bitterness. I mm-hmm. not yeah. a fan. Um, and just, <laughs> but yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm gonna focus more right now. The taste we can pretty much cover. It's bitter. It's roasted. It's dark, and it's a dry after you know mouthfeel. Um, I don't know if it's just a 2016 batch, but this beer has won many awards. It's been around since 1995, and it's won. The same flavor has been around since 1995. Yeah, different bottle label. Um. Like I was looking online. I had different bottle labels back then, but, but it's um, all cold. Uh, I'd imagine it's the same. It's all cold. Punk at uh, Punk and L. Punk and L. Yep, by Dogfish Head. Um, but uh, I, uh, the color. I've never had a beer that was like such a beautiful, you know, appealing looking color. And the smell is this. It's fall. Like it's, it's a good just, smell too. It is a good smell. It's fall right up the nostrils. It's yeah. It's it's good. A little nausea in there. <laughs> and and. and, and the taste isn't really that bad. It's not like it's not like oh, don't give me any more. Let me throw this like a, across the bar. Like a, like a ugh kind of reaction. Yeah, not like a ugh, dry. No, it's, it's kind of, oh, it's good, but then oh, that kind of bitterness is. <laughs> do I want another sip? <laughs> no, it's not another. Do I want another beer? That's the right. question. Yeah, this is something I definitely don't think I'd be like. Oh, let me, let me get two of those. Let me pound two. two yeah, yeah, pound. Yeah, it's kind of. Let me have one. All right. You kind can't pound it down. But no. uh, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it a seven. So. Uh, seven off of smell, seven off of look, and seven with uh, the taste. So all those contribute factors to seven. Um, yeah, so I mean overall it'd be a six point five. No, six point seven five plus seven. Is it a what they get? Wait, you get a six point seven five? Yeah, I get it. Oh. Okay, is so it 6.8? 6.8.5. Yeah, 6.8. 6.8. <laughs> something like that. Something, yeah. something, something around there. Oh, so yeah. that's um that's Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. A, a 6.8... 7 alcohol. Right? Oh, no, the rating. <laughs> a 7 and a 6.75 is what he gave it. The brew crew gave it a good rating. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a solid beer. Try it if you like pumpkin beers. Pump, pumpkin beers. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Like pumpkin yeah. chunkin. There you go. All right, well. That's episode that's 14. 14. 14. Yeah. Um, check out our shop. We got articles of clothing. We got like fourteen different uh, articles of clothing, yeah, some accessories. Full clothing, all right. Uh, sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah. Like sweatshirts. Sweat, even pants. winter. You have sweatpants? No, we don't have sweatpants. If uh, if our fans want, then we should probably throw that in. Yeah, so buy some. Yeah, we got it all out. We uh, Twitter. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. Yep. Happy Halloween to all those we haven't said Happy Halloween to. Hope you guys had a good Halloween. Hope you enjoyed. Hope the trick or treaters came. Yeah, that's nice beers. We give out some craft beers. Yeah. Don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to arrest it. Yeah. Not to the parents. They need oh, parents, they could, they could enjoy right. a nice craft beer. They need something, too, when they're going to go out with all the kids. Yes. Yeah. So we get them through that kind of night. Mm-hmm. But that's episode uh, 14, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next episode, episode 15. Don't yeah. know what it's going to be. Maybe some kind of fall beer. Yeah, Maybe we'll like see. an acorn beer. Well Chestnut. Well, we'll be. Maybe some kind of winter beer. We'll next. Winter is coming. Yeah, winter is coming. See you guys. Uh,